Hey kid, I know you're super busy playing Fortnite and chatting with your friends, but would you like to learn about blockchain? Huh, I take that as a yes. My name is Dennis. I'm a lawyer. I know, super boring. But I teach people about blockchain and cryptocurrencies because I love technology. And hey, are you already playing video games again? Come on, it will be short, it will be simple, and you'll learn something promised. Okay, here we go. So you and your family probably like to play games and you write down the results in a chronological manner. So what you do is you write down the results of the game. Emma, your sister, has 10 points in the first round. Then she got 8 to 18, 3 to 21. Everything neatly recorded in a chronological way. So blockchain is a technology for computers and it does pretty much the same. It records information chronologically. So in our example, we now put Emma's results on the blockchain in a chronological way. 10 points at first, then 8 to 18, 3 to 21, now all stored on the blockchain. But here's the problem with Emma. Whenever she's losing, she gets super annoyed and mad. And she's a cheater too. So a super mad Emma sneaks to the computer with the results on and tries to manipulate them. So you remember, we stored the data of MR on the computer, the results here, but now she's manipulating them. She's really cheating, look what she's doing, oh my god, she's giving herself so many points. So now after she cheated, Emma is the big winner, and everybody else is pretty mad because they know she cheated. But with blockchain, data isn't only stored on one computer on a central point, it's stored decentralized on many computers and servers automatically worldwide. Wow, look how many there are. So a cheetah Emma doesn't get fired, she only wants to manipulate one computer with a blockchain. She would have to manipulate the majority of them. So if Emma still wants to cheat, she needs to travel all over the world, find the computers with a blockchain and manipulate them. But what if Emma had friends all over the world that could help her cheat and manipulate the blockchain? Wow, look at that. But here's the next thing that blockchain does. That is encryption. Once you put information on blockchain like that, it is automatically encrypted in a very complex way so that nobody can hack it. So Emma has no chance to manipulate the blockchain and the real winner is her little rubber mic. But hey, Emma's clapping for him too. Cool. So hey, what did we learn about blockchain? It's an electronic database that stores information in a chronological way. And it's decentralized, meaning there's not only one computer storing the data. And also it's encrypted, making blockchain super secure. Through blockchain technology, we can trust each other worldwide, even if we've never met. Blockchain will create new business models and allow us to use digital cash, such as Bitcoin. It will change how we use and exchange data, for example in healthcare. It will change how we work with each other, because now we can trust the data given to us. With blockchain, scientists can trust the data they are using for their research. So if you or your parents want to learn more about blockchain, check out my podcast, The Blockchain Lawyer, which is available on all major podcast platforms. So kid, I hope you enjoyed learning about blockchain. Yeah? Cool. Okay, back to playing video games. And until next time on this channel.